Yo, Asus is cooking with this laptop. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my latest video. Now, this is the Asus ZenBook S14. And before we start off, I want to mention that this video was sponsored by Asus and they went ahead and set this laptop for me to check out. So this is their brand new ZenBook line laptop powered by an Intel Core Ultra 7 and also a Core Ultra 9 processor that is available with this. And this is part of the Lunar Lake line. This is one of the processors we've been waiting for. This is the V200. It comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a terabyte of storage. The one thing with this laptop you notice when you first pick it up is it is super light and it is very beautiful. It's one you can actually toss up, grab 2.6 pounds in terms of weight. Uh, the Z height is so minimal. I don't know if you guys can just see that. It's a super clean laptop all the way through. Now it's built with a material called Ceraluminum, which looks absolutely amazing also very durable and gives this a very nice aesthetic look. You've got the Asus logo cross lines on here and it's just clean. Now, when you look at the bottom of the laptop, you've got air vents at the bottom. Of course, you can open it up. But in terms of ports, you've got one USB type A 10 gigabits on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, we've got a full HDMI 2.1, which is great two Thunderbolt ports, 40 gigabits uh, per second, and then of course, headphone and mic jack. Now, the one thing I would like to add is Asus add a full-size SD card slot. This is a ZenBook here, so let's get a full-size SD. I think there's enough space here on the right-hand side. That being said, aesthetically, you can't go wrong with this. Open it up, this is where you see more of the beauty of this laptop. You've got Windows Hello, which of course welcomes you while you log into your laptop. And then you've got this clean aesthetic, CNC machine aluminum at the very top, those vents there to cool the laptop down. Those keys are super comfortable typing on them. They feel really nice uh, while typing with this keyboard. I love the spacing here, 14 inches. It's a great size to carry with you. And the trackpad is just super smooth. This is one of the things that, like I said, a lot of people will like this with this laptop. Now, you've got, of course, an OLED display. It's Asus, they make great OLED displays. This is the Lumia OLED display. Nice color balance. And when you look at the Goku wallpaper, yes. Yes, I know you guys want it. So I'll leave the links down for you with the Goku, as well as also the Vegeta wallpaper, because this thing looks absolutely clean. It's also a touchscreen. It's 3K resolution. It is sharp. It is vibrant. It is just killer. This is something that, I definitely love. The beauty out of the way, the crafting. What about the internals? As we mentioned, it's a Lunar Lake processor. This is the Quarter 7. There is a Quarter 9 variant, and I wish I got that, but this thing packs a lot of punch. And this is one of the most impressive parts about this laptop. So this processor has 48 tops of MPU performance, which is pretty great to see, especially come from Intel who has been behind in such things, which means you can use the Asus StoryCube software to of course craft some great uh, stories and help use the AI tools to help you build that out, but also means that you can also do a lot of AI configurations on this laptop quite effectively, that's nice. But what about just raw benchmarks and gaming and things we like to do? We love to game on devices that you shouldn't be gaming on. That's one thing we do on this channel. So when we had and did our Cinebench R23 benchmarks, Asus gave us the scores that we should be expecting. And here's the scores we got. Our single core scores pretty much match. Our multi-core scores a little bit lower, but honestly, that is impressive to see that there. So I like that positioning. Now, since we ran Cinebench, which means we should be gaming. Now I've seen rumors, this is nothing official, that the new Intel Arc integrated GPU on this processor should be comparable to a 3050. To me, that's impressive. So I went ahead and installed Street Fighter VI, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Doom Eternal, just to show you guys what I got in terms of gaming performance. Street Fighter VI played on the highest settings, 1080p, and yeah, 60 frames per second. I can kick back, relax on my couch, drop this down, and game to my heart's delight. Having 60 frames per second playing Street Fighter is amazing. I love it, can't complain. Then of course, I went ahead and played some Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal, also kicking back. Uh, initially was getting about 40 frames per second, but it sent it up to medium settings and I was able to get about above 60 frames per second, which is nice to see. So again, I can play a game like that. So a lot of the older games you should be able to play on this quite effectively. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is no different. On its lowest settings, I could get over 100 frames. Uh, and then the lowest I got was about 70 frames per second. So again, 
some great performance here from this laptop, which means that you can go on the road with this super light laptop and game. But the next question is, can you actually go on the road? Does it have the battery life? We know Intel laptops for years have been atrocious on battery life. I'm gonna say it out here, but this might be the big changer. This is gonna be pretty huge as we move forward. The reason I say this is that when Asus briefed me, they said, hey, look, here's what we expect you to get for battery life, 16 plus hours using office tools. I said, that's pretty cool. And then I said, who the hell uses Office tools? So I did my own benchmarks, running it just on video. I used the same benchmark tool, Procyon. It's a great tool for benchmarking, especially for battery life. And I ran the same benchmark. And for video, guess what I got? Now you're thinking, no, nah, it's gonna be way less than 16 hours. I got 14 hours and 51 minutes, almost 15 hours of playback for video, which is great. Now, my laptop was set at about 50% brightness, and then speakers were also around 50%. Wi-Fi was connected, ran it through. That was great to see. And mind you, by the way, I do have Wi-Fi 7 in the house. This laptop also supports Wi-Fi 7. So imagine being able to take a 15-hour flight somewhere. You can take this laptop, forget your charger, and you would be fine watching as much episodes of Penguin, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, whatever you're watching on TV, and be satisfied. This is truly impressive. I love this, and I am excited to see what Intel does in the future. I mean, this is making this one of my favorite laptops this year because it is so light to carry around, and the kind of performance I can get from this is bar next to none right now. So tell me what you guys think. This is one of the first Intel laptops that I've truly gushed over, that I think a lot of you will like. This is well built from ASUS. It also has some really great performance. You've seen the performance, you've seen the battery life. I can't wait to see more from ASUS and Intel. So leave your thoughts down below. And also, if you wanna pick up this laptop, definitely use the links down below. It is well priced and also just, I'm impressed. I'm honestly impressed. But let me know what you think, guys. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.